Hello my quilting friends, Leah Day here with a quick little casual cam video. I just got these pivot head camera glasses. These are glasses that film video of whatever you're looking at. There's a camera lens right here between my eyes. And to test them out, I decided to shoot a quick little video on designing a whole cloth. So check it out and enjoy. So I want to talk through how I design different quilts. And in this particular project is a whole cloth that I'm planning to stitch with a walking foot, to knock out everything with a walking foot. So of course the design has to be fairly simple, lots of straight lines, lots of gentle curves. So this was my first take and I really like the sun symbol in the center. I liked the kind of arch diamond shape and the circle but I didn't necessarily like the lattice. So that's where I started. And all you have to do is draw, as you can see, just a sliver of it. And that is, you know, basically one eighth of the design or, or yeah, one eighth of the design. And then you use mirrors, these little connected, they're just mirrors taped together and lay them together. And that allows you to see the whole quilt. So you only have to draw a little bit of it. So this was the second drawing. I used that same center, same center sun, and I added a sun on the side. I really liked that. Uh, but I didn't really know what to do it here, and I didn't necessarily like the cross hatching. So more experiments. And that's another nice thing. Like the first time that you design something, it's probably not going to be right. You know, you should give yourself space to keep trying and keep playing. So this one just had some center circles, center sun, uh, and then I moved the uh, corner suns to the corners, so from the sides to the corners, and then I filled in the background with this wiggly line design that's basically river path. Like that one a whole lot, but the reason I kept going is because a straight edge like this can be really tricky on a whole clock. It can be really obvious if things don't work out just exactly right. It's much easier actually to do a curving edge like this. So here I kind of blended those two symbols together again, the diamond and the circles, brought in a circle in the corner, but I didn't like how those lines butted right up against the uh, border. So again, I did a little bit more play. <laughs> and this one is right now my favorite. And you can see I drew this as a full quarter so that way I could see more of it. I'm thinking about using those wiggly lines again through this area, or I might play with cross hatching. So still kind of debating the both of those two design choices, but here we've got the corner suns, we've got the center sun. Now we have an interlocking medallion where the lines kind of cross and interlock. Same thing with the border down here. And I really like that effect. So I hope you can see, you know, design is a process. It's not immediate. You know, you start somewhere and you think it's going to be right, and then you just have to keep going and keep trying different things. Just be patient and stick with it. You'll have lots of fun. So that's it for this video. I think these glasses are really going to be fun to experiment with. I can tell, though, that the how it's shooting is a little bit high, so I'm going to have to bring them down a little bit on my face as I'm looking at something just to make sure that I'm getting it properly in this shot. But I think it's really fun to play with and uh, experiment around and try new things. There's always something new to play with when it comes to filming what we're doing. So uh, I can't wait to shoot some more videos and definitely let me know what you think. If you like the angle, if you like the perspective, of course my head was wiggling around a little bit. So there's that too. So let me know what you think and uh, share in the comments below. Until next time, let's go quilt.